वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ डायनामिक क्रेड वेब एप which is absolutely like our previous dynamic cred series and in this cred web app we just implement a feature for login for user and the admin so it's our common sense if we have a user type account we can see only his own data and if we have the admin account we can see all the data so let's move on our login screen and see how it's working so you can see here in our database a sample data is already exist so here you will see two usernames one is one type is user and the second type is admin so first of all we are going to log in via admin so admin one is uh, so we just log in uh, the admin and here we enter the admin password and when i click on the login i can see all the data available in my database you can see all the data all the seven six entries i can see here so i can easily delete this one from here so you can see the data is deleted successfully and i can easily uh, perform the edit options on it and then when, when i am going to edit options on it i am just going to uh, give him the id this one and giving the name muhammad amizim that and here's i just give him the tutu and this one also tutu and this one also tutu and this one also tutu so when i am going to click on submit you will see the data is successfully updated at the id the name the father name the city the state the province the status exactly same you can see here okay so it's our dynamic cred web app admin type interference so when i am going to enter any kind of data you can see here i am just going to enter the simple data c22 and the name is the avas and the father name is um shakil and the uh, city is lahore and the state is punjab and the province is punjab and the continent is asia okay so when i am going to click on the submit i am currently logging as a this user this user is admin so when the data is saved you can see the users comes here so it will directly filters the data when you are going to log in it will check from the c column if you have admin then in this database all the entries show to your end show to your screen and when you have in c column the user it will filters the data according to this user name in the database how it's possible so we are going to check the users interference on our end so here we are going to log in as a user you will see the user name is here i am just enter my user name here and here's i enter my password so when i am going to log in so you can see here i am successfully logged in here and i can see only my own data because for the user name ramis only have two entries the ram is the miss okay this user name and you can see it and i can easily perform delete options delete functionalities here okay so you can see when i am easily and the data is updated real time on the main time on the real time the data is updated in your cred web app so uh, here i am going to add a new entries for the user name ram is so student id i am going to give it the three two two as per like 3222 there it down then when i am going to uh, giving him a name mohammad ramis okay and the father name is ramis also and the city is lahore and the state is punjab and the province is punjab okay so the continent is asia so when i am going to click on the submit you can see here the data is successfully added here the status is asia the continent basically it's a continent so how if you want to add more columns if you want to add more columns in your database you can easily create you can directly edit your dynamic cred web app from this form let's example we are going to create a database for our school so i need id and the student name and i need a student name so here i also enter the student name and its type is text okay 
so i am uh, after that i am going i am i need a class of this student so i just enter the class and i also want a teacher name of that student so i just enter the teacher name here so when i enter the teacher name here you can you can see it's a text type so for that for right now i can just use these four entities okay so the id the student name the class and the teacher name the id is already here the student name we can set it here the student name and the class is here and the teacher name is here and we are going to delete this we don't need this and when i am going to refresh this web app and now i am when i am logging as the username one the ramis for the account number one the username one ramis it's a user so when i am going to click on login i i, I will be successful login so you can see here i have i have the my latest table for example if you have many entries you can see our ad form is also updated for example if you want multiple things you just enter it here you give him a id name one the student name one the class name one the teacher name one and same like here and same like here so here so we just enter the id okay so right now we just copy this and paste it here and give him a name id1 the student name 1 and the class also 1 and the teacher name also 1 so you can see easily here so we just copy this data from here and just paste it here and when i am going to refresh my web app and now i am going to log in as the admin and the user for both so first of all i am going to log in as the admin i just copy this username from here and paste it here just enter their password and click on the login so you can see i i will be able to see all the data so you can see for the for the user ramis and the ramis1 data i can see which users have which data and you can see the id the student name class and the id1 student name 1 and it will work if you will edit from this data it will work so we are going to edit um, this data we are going to edit this data so here uh, i am going to giving him a name 44 and the student name is uh, muhammad ramis and the class is i am giving because this is all data i class 10 class 10 okay the teacher name is also i mean okay so id1 uh, i am giving a 55 the student name is avas and the class name is i will give him the class name uh, class 11th and the teacher name is also the aunt and when i click on the submit you can see the data is successfully updated here you can see the data is successfully updated so when i am going to refresh this web app and going to have a user i log in as a user I can only see my own data with the same interference. So this is our dynamic red web app. How we can set up it? When you receive this uh, link from our WhatsApp because it's a paid. So you can see here. When you see uh, uh, open this link, you will see this type of interference, and you just need to click on make a copy. When you click on make a copy, this type of Google Sheet appears in front of you and it's copy in your Google Drive. You just need to click on the extensions and click on the app script icon and click on the app script button. And now you click on just click on the deploy and new deployment. And here you just need to select anyone and click on the deploy. It will ask for your permissions. You will grant it him for successfully deployed as a web app. After that, you will see this kind of link in your end and you can use this link anywhere you want so this is our crud web app dynamically for admin and user type logins so in our next video we will see a chat web app a messaging web, web app which is basically inspired by the whatsapp okay so in our next video we will see the whatsapp type messaging web app using google sheet and app script and can store your messaging history. 
Take care. Allah Hafiz.